Hello guys and welcome to this video today. We're taking a look today at the Lincolnshire Loop Line. This line ran between Gainsborough Lee Road and Peterborough via Lincoln, Boston and Spalding. We're here at Gainsborough Lee Road station today which serves the town of Gainsborough in Lincolnshire. And this was the terminus of the line on the north part. Um, as we can see, Gainsborough Lee Road is still open with services to Doncaster and Lincoln. And they've also extended the service from Lincoln down to Peterborough via Sleaford and Spalding. Now, this line that we're following used to form part of the Great Northern Railway. Um, but it closed in the 1960s to passengers. 
and it closed for eight 1970s between Lincoln and Kirkstead. And um, the line between um, Kirkstead and Boston was abandoned in the 1960s, as well as the line between Spalding and Boston, which now forms part of the A16. So most of the line has been abandoned and is now a footpath or built on or used for roads. But between Peterborough and Spalding, the line is still open, and the bit between um, Spalding and Lincoln on to um, Gainsborough is now in use, but not the bit between Lincoln and Spalding via Boston. Sorry, that sounds a bit confusing, but put simply, Boston is no longer connected to either Lincoln by rail or Spalding. Boston, the middleman, is not connected no more. So we're facing that way towards Lincoln and Peterborough. And this way we face towards Doncaster and Retford. So this was Gainsborough Lee Road Station. We'll now head on to the next one. Got to quickly mention you know that part there of the platform you can see this almost newly built platform well there was actually the original Doncaster bound platform but apparently it had been slipping down the hill uh, very slowly so they closed it and they've moved the platform only a few inches pretty much here rebuilt the whole platform so you can kind of see the new versus the old I do have a picture from when the shelter was still there and I'll quickly show it now. And yeah, that's what it is now. And also, another little gem I need to show you guys. Let me just quickly pause this and get you down there quickly. And here you are, guys. This is, this is the station building here at Gainsborough Lee Road. Now you can kind of see the architecture is similar to many of the stations on around Lincolnshire, at least Lincoln County. Lincolnshire County, sorry. Unfortunately, as soon as you come down here to see the station, say, I don't know, you're looking for a ticket office or you want to sit somewhere before you head into Gainsborough. Unfortunately, the station building is not open. In fact, it is pretty much derelict. And that's been for quite a while. The station, just like Saxelby, is on mams and on staff so you basically you've got your help point and your ticket off machine but any ticket offices or anything you've got no or a cafe or anything you've got nowhere really to go other than a garage you call them all down the road the railways up there on the, up those will look like oriental style walkways and there's a station building not being used so I just want to quickly show you these um, two buildings, this building, sorry, quickly. Um, so yep, yeah, once more this is Gainsborough Lee Road Station. We'll now head on to the next one.
So guys, we're here at the site of Lee Railway Station. This is uh, the village of Lee in uh, Lincolnshire on the line between Gainsborough and Lincoln, aka as well the Lincolnshire Loot Line and the Doncaster to Lincoln Line. As we can see, the station building survives on the right as a private residence. The platforms are in a deep cutting, so I assume you used to have to cross down there and then you'd access the platforms which would have been here as we can see the platforms are long gone but the station building survives we're facing that way towards Lincoln and Peterborough if we come back across we face that way back towards Gainsborough Lee Road and uh, Doncaster And this station here at Lee Road, uh, excuse me, I keep saying Lee Road. This station here at Lee, Lee um, was actually closer to the Nath Park area than Lee itself, where it was about half a mile to a mile from the actual village itself. So, this was Lee Station. We'll now head on to the next one. So we are here at Stowe Park Station. This is the Stowe Park area of Lincolnshire, close to the village of Stowe, which is, if you're a local or local historian, or even a person who likes churches and anything like that, you'll know that Stowe is actually the home of Stowe Minster, the church we saw earlier before we came here to the station. So this is Stowe Park Station. It was a bit closer to both Stowe and the village of Martin, but it was named Stowe Park. So we can see the station building survives there on the right. Um, it looks like it's a private residence, albeit it doesn't look very well kept. Um, and the signal box there on the left, which I think has been closed because there's tape on the steps up to the signal box. We got, it looks like part of the platform there, which would have been the Gainsborough and Doncaster bound platform. But the Lincoln bound platform is long gone. Um, we're facing that way towards Lincoln and Peterborough on the Lincolnshire Loop Line and we face that way back towards Gainsborough Lee Road and Doncaster so just like the station at Lee this station was quite a distance from Stowe and Martin itself pretty much in the middle of a very sparsely populated area so this was Stowe Park Station we'll now head on to the next one Wonder what they're doing with that.
So guys, we are here at Saxelby Station. This serves the village of Saxelby in Lincolnshire. And uh, we are on a quite interesting station, which I will explain in just a minute. As we can see, the station is still active. We've got the Gainsborough and Doncaster bound platform there across the road tracks. 
and we've got here the Lincoln and Peterborough bound platform as we can see the station building survives it's um, it was emptied when I last came here but it looks like it's recently been converted into two private properties originally it was offices but I'm not sure if it's offices now or if it's now residential but as we can see it's quite a fine piece of architecture and I believe it is grade listed as well if it is I'll pop it in the caption and yeah um, as we can see we're facing that way towards Lincoln and Peterborough along the Lincolnshire loot line and we face this way towards Gainsborough and Doncaster now earlier I just said that there was something interesting about this station well this one I guess it is interesting in some context but it depends on how well hopefully my viewers can remember it because it was quite an early closure there was the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railways they opened a line from here at Saxel Bay which went into Lincoln obviously along this part of the line but also there was a branch a little bit further there on the western end I think it was right by or just before where that red light in the distance is my camera can focus Nat no, doesn't want to focus. Sorry to blurry that. You can just about see the red dot over there. So that was the junction to Retford. Now the line is between Lincoln and Doncaster still connected to Retford through Gainsborough, but that other way took it a different way altogether. It went into Retford straight over the Torxey viaduct. Now on that line, it would have called at Torxey, Cottom, and North Leverton and Yaddlethorpe before joining the line into Retford. And then instead of it was almost like I suppose it was like an avoiding line to bring services between Retford and Lincoln, but that line has closed between Saxelby and Cottom. Uh, the Cotton Power Station was served by a short stub of the line between Retford and Cotton via North Leverton with Yaddlethorpe. But um, that section has since closed since the power station has now been decommissioned. Now the track bed between Torxey and Saxelby is private land. You can't really walk it, but between Torxey and Cotton... You can walk over the Torxey Viaduct, which I believe was only recently reinstated a few years ago. Um, and is a grade-listed stat structure as well. From Cotton, uh, the track bed obviously is occupied by the old sidings into the power station. And then onwards into North Leverton and into Retford, the line is mothballed. But the track is still down. So I thought we will look at that line in, a, in detail in a future video as I look at the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railways network of rails. Hiya there, I'm looking for information. What kind of information are you looking for? Hiya there, so um, I'm looking for to ask when is the next service to Peterborough from um, Saxelby Station, please? Right, travelling to Peterborough and you are at which station? Uh, Saxelby. That is spelled as X Sierra A for Alpha. Yep. Yep, X I L B Y. How about that? Thank you. Checking. So I see the next service will now depart. Sex will be. At 1531, you were right, Peterborough 1653, direct service. Okay, brilliant. What stations are in the middle, please, of that service? Like, what's the next, what, where does it call that? Just a minute. So, between this station comes Lincoln. Yep. Metheringham. Mm hmm. Ruskington. 
All right, brilliant. Okay, that's great stuff. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. See Thank you. You too. Bye now. Cheers. Bye bye. And of course, Saxelby's here, still open. So, this was Saxelby Station. We'll now head on to the next one. But yeah, um, hopefully, uh, you guys are into Lincoln, are you? Yeah, we are, yeah. Fair enough. You going for a day out or? Exciting, just a bit you going for a day out to go some, some shopping? Just a bit shopping, but we might find a pub or two. <laughs> Fair enough. If I were you, I'd go to the pub at um, where Waterside South is. There's a little pub next to the Waterside Shopping Centre. That's quite oh, nice. Yeah, no. Not the one that they're doing up, it's a little one on the corner, it's quite nice. <laughs> See you later guys, anyway, have a good day. Thank you.
much. So guys, across there, along this stretch of the river, that there is the site of Skellingthorpe Station. Now, I know a few of you might be thinking, Josh, there was only one station at Skellingthorpe and that was in the village centre. Yes, that is true, but the Great Northern Railway did for a brief time have a station on the Lincolnshire Loot Line between Lincoln and Gainsborough Lee Road here at Skellingthorpe. This was over a mile or so from the village, but that there would have been roughly the site of Skellingthorpe Great Northern Railway Station. That closed in the early 20s, as you can see now, the lines through there still are in use. But the site of the station is long gone. There we go. Train just passed through the old station site. Although this station would have been a bit closer to Burton Waters, but Burton Waters is almost like a new development. Probably wouldn't have been there during the time the railway was in, station was around. So we're facing that way back towards Gainsborough and Doncaster, and we face that way towards Lincoln and Peterborough. As you can see there's a little pipe bridge crossing over the canal and over the railway. We'll go and have a quick look at it now. as you guys can see I don't know if that is either intentionally that or you used to be able to cross it like an old ferry bridge but obviously you can't get up there now it looks like as I say I'm not too sure with this guy so I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of these or misinterpreting any of these and of course over there in the distance peeking out over the horizon is Lincoln Cathedral along with its surrounding skyline. Once the world's tallest building and one of the tallest cathedrals in England. So this is Skelling for Great Northern Railway Station. We're now heading to the city of Lincoln to follow the rest of the line.
So this guy's is Lincoln Central Station. This is the main station for the city of Lincoln, um, and it's the only one in use now out of the two that we, the other one that we saw earlier, which was St Mark's. It has services to places like Nottingham, Leeds, um, York, London, among other destinations. This is also a grade listed building and yep quite an interesting little statue there as well which we just had a quick look at so guys this was Lincoln Central we're now going to go and find a bit of an obscure station which was Lincoln Globeworks platform I wonder if there's just been old level crossing. Can't see anyone crossing this anytime soon. Nope. But the answers you seek will never be found at 